Yo, what is up YouTube? I'm Blitz5 and today we're gonna to be doing a headphone unboxing. This is from HyperX, this is the Cloud 2. Move this up to the screen here so you guys can see this. We're gonna be unboxing these headphones so you guys can take a look at uh, what they look like and uh, kind of what I think of the design. And then later on, I'll use them and maybe make another review video or maybe comment in the comment section below or the description, let you guys know what I think of the headphones. Uh, so far, it looks like they have a lot of good reviews, but I did receive this as a gift uh, from my buddy Tom, aka Kairu. I do the Halo podcast with him. Um, I'll put a link to his page here and also link to our Halo podcast down below if you feel interested in listening to that. Um, so I plan on using this for PC and probably Halo right now. League of Legends and Halo are the games I'm playing the most of and Hearthstone. Um, I don't think headphones are necessary for Hearthstone, obviously, lol. And um, this actually doesn't come with the adapter to use with the Xbox One. For some reason, Xbox One had to be annoying and they made a different headphone jack, if you guys don't know this. Uh, but now I think the new Xbox One controllers actually do come with the regular 3.5 millimeter jack, I think they call it. Um, so let's just look at the box here again. These are the headphones. Uh, I'll just read some quick descriptions of what's going on here. So this has premium USB sound card, 7.1 surround sound. Uh, digitally enhanced mic, pure hi-fi 53 millimeter drivers. I don't know what that means. And this was designed in t Sweden. So it might be hard for you guys to see, but there's some of the information there listed. I don't think the webcam is really focusing. But let's go ahead and open these up. Um, I'm pretty excited that he got these for me. Uh, it's definitely a nice gift of him. Uh, I haven't had headphones in a really long time. Um, at first, I didn't want to buy any. I was really into Call of Duty and Halo, and that's when headphones were getting really big in the Call of Duty scene around like after Modern Warfare 2. Headphones were really blowing up, and I didn't really want to get them because they were so expensive. And then I was so into it, and my buddy worked at Best Buy, so I decided, you know what? Um, you know, I'm taking my time to open this because it's, it's kind of weird how they tape this here at the top. There's really no way to, to open it right because the way the tape is. So I'm actually gonna have to just rip it open here. Um, sorry, Tom, I'm ripping this open. It's just how it has to be. I'm actually just gonna use my knife. So they taped over the flap that you would normally just open and then lift up. They taped over that and it's kind of hard to tape because it's actually inside the box. So that's a, a weird thing unless I, unless I uh, just miss read that the instructions of opening this um but anyway so my buddy worked at best buy and he got me a pair of tritons that were really expensive and you know what i don't know if they were actually worth it they were really expensive i think they retailed at 250 dollars. i ended up getting them for like an eighth of that price maybe like a fifth of that price it was so cheap because they really do mark these headphones up and from then it seems like you can get some really good headphones for your money and um, I don't know if paying that much unless you're getting like Astros is really worth it and eventually um, those headphones that ended up just breaking from like wear and tear I think my roommate like stepped on it um, just stuff like that or my girlfriend stepped on it and eventually the headphones because you get more and more lazy when you first get them you're like taking really good care of them and putting them on the counter but um, after a while, you kind of just start throwing them around, unfortunately. So, sorry, let's get to the unboxing here. So we're opening this up, finally. We have the HyperX packaging here. It's pretty cool, it almost looks like a shoe box in a way, the way this is gonna open up, kind of coming off the top. Um, definitely reminds me of a shoe box. Let's see, you have some instructions here. How to connect this to a mobile phone or a tablet, which is cool. I guess that would be pretty helpful if you want to do that, uh, hooking up to your phone. There's some nice foam packaging here on top to protect it, uh, which is definitely awesome. And this is this is really sweet. I love this packaging. It's not in that annoying plastic that everybody hates that you can't open. Uh, for some reason, my webcam here is kind of lagging. But you can see here, the packaging is just, it's so cool. It's just the foam. It looks like you could just take it right out and it's really protected, uh, which is nice. That's a huge plus here. So I'm just gonna open these bad boys up. We'll take them out at least. Oh, it looks like there's a little compartment here. I'm assuming this is gonna be like a carrying case of some sorts. So yeah, I was right. This is like a soft, very soft mesh carrying case, but this is really thick, which is good. So it looks like it could provide some protection. It's not just like a really thin cloth or mesh material. It's actually pretty thick. And we have the headphones here, so this is really nice. Um, all the wires here, I'll just show this because it's smaller, are the braided kind of 
wires, which you're definitely going to want. These wires are definitely better. They're less likely to get tangled and they're just stronger um, because a lot of times people's wires break. That's another thing with the Tritons. I had to order wires all the time and like pay money um, because sometimes they weren't covered. Um, So having the braided wires, uh, whatever they call them, is really nice. Um, We have the mic here, which came separately. Just plug that in for anybody who needs that which I'll be using. And then here finally are the actual headphones themselves. So you have the HyperX logo on the side. It looks really sweet. Um, It looks like these have a lot of padding here, as you can see. So really soft on the ears. It looks like it's gonna be, I'll put them on in a second and just see uh, what they're like. Um, I really like that. And it looks like here easily you can adjust these. So it pretty much has everything you need. It has the microphone, um, the braided cables, it's got the USB surround sound. So everything is right here for the 7.1 surround sound. Instead of having like this huge mix amp, it's just right here, which is awesome. All of the uh, buttons here and for the volume, the mic, um, and surround sound features the different sides, which is awesome. And definitely, I would only recommend this if you're playing like an FPS shooter, maybe like Counter-Strike or something where you need to hear people coming behind you. But either way, if you live in an apartment like I do now, it's nice having these so you don't like... Um, if you're gaming really late at night, you don't wake anybody up or piss any of your roommates off or your girlfriend off. Um, so let me uh, take off my hat here. Keep the logo, the Buccaneers logo forward. Um, so just put these on. Wow, they're, I read that they were noise canceling, but I didn't really think about it when I was doing this. So now I think I'm talking really loud. Um, but it's definitely super quiet and, and, and really comfortable. And I just noticed that they, they actually have these velvet earmuffs here that or whatever you want to call these ear pads that you can put on but these are super super comfortable actually they fit right around your ear um, almost perfectly and I don't know I just don't think I could get tired of like wearing these the Tritons actually the headphones are really small and it used to hurt my ear after a while and I'd have to like take one off and then I would rotate because it hurts so bad and these are really comfortable because it really surrounds your whole ear um, they're pretty big as you can see I don't want to like bend it but they're really really big headphones you can see it's kind of like next to my hand um, it, it, it's pretty big so from my thumb to my pointer finger uh, definitely a nice size so I can't wait to try these out they look really awesome doesn't look like anything else is in here other than the foam padding and the velvet uh, microphones so just thanks again to my buddy Tom go check out his page I'll link it again here uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video Thanks for watching, and as always, Blitz 5, I'm out. Peace.